the electrochemical cell comprises of three electrodes. We have the working electrode where the reaction happens. We have a counter electrode, which is the body of the cell and is the kind of zero volts. And then we also have a reference electrode where the potentials are referenced against. And I'm going to take the cell apart and then we'll have a look at how the different parts fit together. So first I'll remove the reference electrode by unscrewing this fitting here. This one's called a PDH electrode. Um, the other type of reference electrode that you may have is called a, is a pH and um, silver silver chloride electrode and we'll talk more about those later but that, that's the way the two different electrodes look. Then we're going to take off the working electrode and to do this we remove this yoke knob which is just there to push the electrode on and, and seal the cell up. This working electrode's a disposable one so it has this spacer block so this part here I'm removing now is not the electrode it's just a block which is there to fill the gap and to push the electrode on and the actual electrode itself because it's a disposable one is just printed onto this sheet that I'm removing here. Now you can see here the gold is printed onto the sheet and it's the very small spot at the end of that track that's the actual part where the sample flows over and where the reaction happens. And in between the working electrode and the cell body, we have a gasket. And this gasket is what forms the actual cell, the volume itself. And you can kind of see the little slot there. That's where the um, sample flows. It's also very important with the disposable one that this little tag is pointing between the cell and the pin because it for, it's an insulator as well. So the orientation is important there. Um, so I'll put that on there. Now the other type of working electrode would be a fixed or conventional working electrode and again we still have the gold spot but the gold spot is basically embedded into what looks very similar to that spacer block but you can see it's got a little spot there as well so this would be an electrode you could remove and clean whereas the disposable electrode would be um, just simply replaced when it loses sensitivity and then the rest of the cell is the zero volts. Um, so this whole body basically is your zero volt cell.